there's a new trend where you mix a pre-workout with an energy drink. If you do this to feel your pre-workout, you've reached a high level of caffeine tolerance. If you keep increasing your intake, you could experience anxiety, insomnia, digestive issues, or even muscle breakdown. It could even be fatal. I suggest take a break for a little while, or choose yourself a pre-workout that is stimulant-free. And after your reset, caffeine is gonna hit you different. The girls have their aesthetics. Let me introduce you to one of ours, capped shoulder core. This aesthetic involves large capped shoulders, creating the illusion of a smaller waist. You get the cap by working on the lateral region. Dumbbell lateral. Don't do this, do this. Do your best to not let your elbows exceed shoulder height. Try seated variation two. Pro tip, do whatever variation you find works best because nobody likes a small set of shoulders. No cap. Nothing is more annoying than arrogance. People mistake confidence for arrogance. So let me clear this up. Confidence is, I'm proud of myself. Arrogance is, I'm better than you. Arrogance is rooted in insecurity, whereas confidence comes from experience and understanding. Uplift yourself and others. Always act selflessly. There's enough shit going on in the world. And the last thing we need is more shitty people. Oh. You don't have time. Let me see your screen time then. How much time do you spend on Netflix, video games, or procrastinating? Don't just doom scroll. Follow people that are valuable and benefit you as a person. Chances are you can afford 30 minutes for a workout or side hustle, especially whilst you're young and able. Constantly look for new ways to make your day more purposeful. Because our time here is limited, and I want you to make the most of it. November 2020, my life changed forever. I uploaded my first TikTok tutorial. It went well, but so many of the comments were hate. At the time, this was really discouraging. All I wanted to do was help, but people broke me down for it. I'm so grateful that I pushed on and continued to make videos regardless of the response. And now for you, if you're wanting to start a business or even become an influencer, but you're scared of being judged, just go for it, because you never know where a simple idea can take you. I often get ridiculed by vegans for the amount of meat products I consume. I respect vegans for wanting to better themselves and the environment. My problem is that veganism is often promoted through guilt and fear, rather than education and care. Veganism is a complex process with potential life-threatening risks if not approached correctly. You have to make an educated choice, and it's exactly that, a choice. Understand why you're doing it. Don't just do it because a lady with a banjo told you to. If you go to the gym without a set of headphones, is everything okay at home? I'm only joking. Listening to your preferred music whilst lifting can boost your gains. As studies show, not only does it put you in a better overall mood, but boost performance. Also resulting in a higher quality workout. But warning, have your playlist prepared in advance, because trying to find the perfect song can really waste your time. This is a message for Patchy Beard Gang. This is my friend. He's the best beard. Wait. Is it about my beard? I don't want to be in these videos, no. One study found that this 3% peppermint oil boosted hair follicle thickness and amount. If you're really desperate for a beard, maybe give it a try. But I think, own what you have and maybe see how you can style it better. Why the f*** can we not just support one another? 70% of Gen Z have reported anxiety or depression during the pandemic. It isn't cringe that someone is posting their fitness progress or new business on social media. There's absolutely no reason to leave a negative comment that could potentially dampen someone else's success. Supporting someone else's future doesn't take away from yours. Have you done leg day and suddenly Here's how to survive even the most brutal leg day. Hydrate yourself with the tears of your haters. Or be boring and drink some water. Being dehydrated can reduce strength from 5 to 10%. Have enough fuel in your tank to get through your workout. Eat enough food throughout the day. Do some light stretching after your workout. It will get rid of some of that tightness. Unless, of course, you like it tight. Three questions. One. Who are you? Two, who do you want to be? Three, and what are you doing about it? Ask yourself these questions and be truthful about the answers. 
These are not high protein. But these sure are easy, tasty, high protein wrap bases. Handful of spinach, three whole eggs, blend that bitch. Pan, medium heat, cover. Add whatever toppings you want to it. Let's go. I'm gonna teach you how to join the titty committee. Dumbbell bench press. Keep your hands at the top of the dumbbell for extra stability. Bring the dumbbells together for that squeeze. Table crossover. Try doing a pause on each alternating arm. Why don't you try superset these with some push-ups? Go till around failure on a set of dumbbells, or even try an incline variation. Success anywhere in life begins with winning the small daily battles. I don't have time. I don't have the energy to go through this process. I don't have the motivation. But I make the time. I find the energy and I create the motivation. The best outcomes arise from the most difficult challenges. Fuel your greatness. Rise up. Do you need whey protein to get big muscles? Let's find out. Protein powder is a far more convenient form than this. You do need the macronutrient protein in order to build muscle. You should always aim to get your protein from high quality sources. I usually recommend protein powder to beginners. It's often very intimidating to eat large quantities of meat. In my opinion, it's better to get some protein from here than no protein at all. If you're looking for a great tasting protein, the Rise Loaded Protein is for you. Here's how to not get sick. Vitamin D. Get outside and spend some time in the sun. Clean your house of dust and hair. You're breathing that in all day long. Eat enough green vegetables. They don't suck. It just depends how you make them. Eat foods that are high in vitamin C or supplement. And the one I struggle with, a full eight hours of sleep. Reduce stress where you can and maintain a good exercise routine. All of our immune systems are different. So do your best to boost it where you can. She just broke your heart. Now what? I've dealt with heartbreak and my best advice, you gotta work on yourself. Dive into your hobbies. Do what you enjoy. I preach fitness. Get yourself a training routine and stop eating those takeouts. Besides looking better and building your confidence, you are going to feel better. Exercise releases endorphins. Feel good chemicals. Besides, you might make some of your friends at the gym. You will get through it. Keep your head up high. Invest in yourself and you will come out on top. Only a small percentage of humans can do this. Are you one of them? Self-improvement challenge. Work out every day. No junk or fast food. Do one selfless deed a day. Add protein and vegetables to your diet. Drink a gallon of water a day. Get eight hours of sleep. Every morning, write down what you're grateful for. Cleanse yourself of negativity and self-sabotage. If you happen to fail at one of these, you have to restart at day one again. This is not sponsored, but the biggest prize, a better you. Share this message, post your stories. Hashtag better in 30. You cannot spell legendary without leg day. And if you do, you're left with Arr! And that doesn't make sense. Just like not training legs. And you want to know why? Because leg day increases your testosterone and growth hormone. Helps you with your posture, burns calories, improves fitness levels, and what most of us are here for, that juicy dump leg day.